right, hello and welcome to another Expert Insight interview. Uh, my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. And today I am joined by Frank Furness, who is in North London via originally South Africa, correct, Frank? That's absolutely right and fantastic to be on your program. Thanks so much. Yeah, and I'm John Golden here in San Diego, originally from Dublin, Ireland. So, we, you know, we like to put ourselves in different locations, but hang on to our accents, right, Frank? <laughs> Absolutely. We both transplant somewhere yeah, else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what we wanted to talk today is about video marketing. And, and Frank is an expert in this area. And I think it's a growing area and obviously something that we believe in here ourselves uh, a, a lot and we use a lot. So, you know, Frank, first of all, um, can you give me kind of a definition of what you mean by video marketing? So for me, video marketing is video is the best way to actually get yourself out there in any form. It's fantastic for search engine optimization. Uh, you can bring in emotions. You can bring in all kinds of other stuff. So for me, it's the absolutely best form of marketing right now. If you get onto YouTube, it's the second biggest search engine on the Internet right now. And once you've got video, you can share it on just about every channel. Um, and it's so interactive nowadays. What we're doing right now is live yeah. video. Yeah. And that's, a, that's an interesting point because I don't think people sometimes realize that because if you said, you know, what are the biggest search engines in the world, people would say, well, there's Google and then there's probably maybe Yahoo behind it or something else. Uh, um, but you're right. Um, you too, people search that constantly, right? And business people search it constantly. And all of the big television stations, there's so many people looking for it. I've got 700 videos on uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. and my channel is called Sales Tips. And one of the videos I made many years ago was just on job interview tactics. It's had about 500,000 views. Uh, it was picked up by one of the TV stations. They're thinking of doing a live TV program where they now go in to companies, and they want an expert to come and talk about the interview they found me and they've asked me if I want to be part of the TV program. So there's so many people actually looking at YouTube. Yeah, it's amazing. So what are some of the th what are some of the things that you can use video for in a sales context? Uh, you know, how can salespeople themselves use video or how can marketing use video better to drive, you know, prospects to your company? Well, one of the biggest things is uh, video testimonials. So I have 65 video testimonials on my website, frankfurness.com. Just go and take a look. And the way you set up a video testimonial is the first 20 seconds, the person giving you the testimonial, that's the elevator speech, who they are, what they do. That's the credibility builder. You've got to coach them a little bit. Uh, so in the next section, you don't want them to be saying, John is fantastic, he's amazing. Rather, by using sales pop, we've increased our sales by 72%, we've decreased our downtime, and then they finish off again saying who they are and what they do. So video testimonials is a big one. Of course, you've got product launches. You've got meet the team. Meet the team is a massive one. We have an insurance company. We have videos of, of all of our people meet the team. A big one is meet the CEO. So meeting the CEO, because people like to have a feel of the culture of the person, the company that they're dealing with. Uh, you can have a walk through the company. Of course, you've got product launches. Mm -hmm. And my favorite right now is live streaming video. I right. absolutely love that. Yeah, no, I love that too. It's, it's great. Um, but some people watching this maybe say, well, you know, I'm, I'm not a video expert. Uh, you know, I don't really know how to do video and I don't know how to edit and all of that kind of stuff. What, what do you say to people like that? Well, it's pretty simple. It just takes practice. I mean, the first time I made a video, I messed it up. When I look back on my early videos now, I cringe. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is to get them out there. People aren't going to be judging you by the way you look or, the, you know, what they want is content. If mm -hmm. you've got great content for them, uh, they're going to enjoy it, whether it's funny, whether it's informational, uh, whether it's inspirational, people are looking for content. Um, and there's just so much content. If you're an expert in any kind of area, don't really worry about oh, what I'm going to look like. If you're really that worried, there are places you can go to and have videos made. You can go and get uh, some of the little guys made, you know, uh, little impressionists. You can go to places like Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Uh, I go to other places. Uh, I use a place called Flix Press that have professional videos, and you can just drop in your face if you want to. You can drop in your logo. Um, 
And it's really simple. You can do what we're doing right now, just sitting in front of a laptop recording. There are some great programs out there like Zoom that you can use for live recording, live training. So there's so many ways. The big thing is just do it. Don't look for perfection. Get out there and just make it happen. Yeah, and I think the the, the the key point here is that if you've got something good to say, right? Because basically, if, if I've got something interesting or valuable to say, and I just like, you know, use my iPhone and video myself, I mean, people don't care so much about the the quality or the, you know, production uh, quality of it. They care about what you're saying, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and the one big thing I would say is just get yourself a good microphone. Mm -hmm. And if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, uh, there's a great microphone called iRig, I-R-I-G, which is made especially for the iPhone. So, and, and also with any camera you get, always try and use an external microphone yeah. because there's nothing more frustrating. And that sound, people call you anything. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, so, um, you know, Frank, in the work that you do with companies, um, what are some of the successes that you've seen by introducing the element of video in, into how they go to market? Oh, there's so many companies that I work with where we brought them in. Uh, there's a law firm I work with in Los Angeles, and uh, they've got a guy that's that's he's quite a weird and wacky kind of guy. And he's when you go into his office, there's baseballs all over the place. He's like a baseball uh, fanatic. And uh, so we just started doing some videos with him, you know, meet the guy. And uh, we had war stories with him and basically he told us of cases what he was doing. We just videoed it and he had hundreds and thousands of views. I had another one. I work with a law firm in um, Fort Lauderdale. And the guy over there is about 70 years old and he's the managing partner. He says, I don't know about the social media stuff. Anyway, I did some training with them. They put up a green room. And he started to make videos on their successes, 30-second tips every Friday. He was picked up by one of the big television stations who said, well, this guy's a bit different. He's a bit wacky. We need someone like that for if anything happens in Florida. Mm -hmm. So now anything mm -hmm. legal happens in Florida, they pull him in. He's the go-to guy. His business has grown oh, enormously through that. He's become like a minor film star, walks into restaurants, people want autographs, mm -hmm. and that's what video can do for you. Yeah, that's great. And obviously, he's getting lots of free advertising now. I mean, he's getting paid by the TV station, but also getting free advertising every time he appears, right? Oh, absolutely. And and the other thing that it can do for you for search engine optimization, it is absolutely the best thing on the planet. So the way I like to be found is sales and technology speaker. So no matter where you are in the world, type that into Google, see if I come up on the first page, I guarantee I will. And what will come up are some of the videos. Mm -hmm. So if you're mm -hmm. going to be making videos, think in terms of key phrases. Yeah. And that key phrase must go into the title, must go into the description, and go into the keywords. You just do that. Google owns YouTube. They're going to optimize it. If you've got great videos that are there, they're going to be seen. Yeah, that, absolutely. Um, so also, um, tell me a little bit about some of the different things. I mean, you talked about those guys, but tell me about some of the ways you have maybe seen salespeople themselves leverage video. Uh, okay, so for product launches, it's absolutely brilliant. And here's a little tip if you're a salesperson on how to use a video. I went on a TV presenter's course at Pinewood Studios. That's where they right. do all the James Bond and Harry Potter. And I, I thought I was pretty good, and they ripped me to pieces. Uh -huh. the, the mistake I was making, I was standing up there talking as if I'm talking to 20 or 30 people. When you're on video, you're talking to one person. Yeah. And so you're, it's got to be like a conversation. You've got to be, well, we've got our new product, and I want to show you how it can help you today, what it can do for you. It's always going to be one conversation and if you get a chance, please go and take a look at the best sales video I think that was ever made, which is Squatty Potty. I don't know if you've seen that one, John. It is just brilliant. 297 million views. A company that made this little Squatty Potty in their first year, $17,000 is what they made. Uh, they then were given $500,000. Uh, they put the whole lot into one video. The next month, they made $1 million because they had the sales video right. That's incredible. Yeah. So what's that squatty potty? Squatty potty. The squatty <laughs> potty. Yes. It's the weirdest and wackiest video. But also go to YouTube and see the making of it. Right. Um, 
because they were given the $500,000 and basically they went up into the mountains and they brainstormed for two weeks. And if you just watch the video and the thought process, it'll give you some ideas on what you can do for your products. Oh, wow. That's, a, that's incredible. Yeah. So I encourage everybody to, uh, to check that out. So the other thing is that I've seen recently, and I think this is maybe something else that's becoming more into vogue, is where people send you personal video messages, right? You know, rather than just a follow up, uh, an email or whatever, they send an actual custom video to you. Yeah, absolutely. And there's some great places you can go for that, like bombbomb, B-O-M-B, B-O-M-B dot com. And it just makes it a lot more personal. Just think about it. If you're a salesperson, you go away, you've just got this great big order, get back to the office and just make, hey, John, you know, thanks so much for appearing on your program. I really appreciate it. I look forward to doing business with you. I guarantee your competitors are not doing that. Um, just drop a little video to a guy before you come and see him, a little video email, you know, hey, John, I'm, uh, I'll be seeing you in San Diego next week. I'm really looking forward to meeting. And that'll increase your chances of the guy not being there or coming up with an excuse <laughs> by about 50 or 60 percent. He sees you, he likes you, and the business will follow. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's, a great, uh, that's a great example. So, I mean, I think that's something that salespeople can start looking at doing because it kind of personalizes the interaction immediately, right? kind of yeah. puts, puts a face to it, puts a personality to it. And especially if you think about it, um, a lot more sales are being done online, right? So a lot more people are selling like this or they're just doing WebEx demonstrations or email, whatever. So they're losing often the opportunity to personalize the way we used to be able to do face-to-face. -face. So, so these video um, snippets are probably a great way of overcoming that to some degree. And, and one of the programs I'd recommend, I use it all the time now, is Zoom. It costs me about $11 a month, and it's brilliant. The quality is fantastic. You can have online meeting with your clients. If you're in Dallas and they're in New York, it's a brilliant way to have your one-on-one -on -one meeting. You can even do some training if you're in the training, coaching, consulting business. So I do a lot of uh, LinkedIn training online with companies. I'll have people sitting in the training room, and I'll sit here in my office in London, and I'll be giving them the training. Uh, it's interactive. We're talking, you know, way less than them flying me over to go and do a session with them there, and it's a win-win for everybody. Sure, um, no, absolutely. So what are an, uh, another couple of tips that you would recommend to people around video in the last few moments we have? Okay, big one, please do Facebook Live. Facebook absolutely loves a live video. Also, do a lot of videos and get them out onto Facebook because uh, a little story over here, I did a talk in uh, Australia and uh, a couple of people came to meet me uh, and the one guy is married to a lady called Emily Skye. Please look her up, S-K-Y-E. Used to be a personal trainer, then decided to make an online course, calls a 28-day shred, and it sells for about $60. She started out by putting and making her Facebook page with writing and pictures, and then went to three videos. She has three videos every day. That is hard work. Mm -hmm. Their whole business is three people, uh, and they net millions of dollars purely by asking questions. So who is my audience out there? What are they looking for? How can I give it to them? And how can I get them to take some form of action? And video is absolutely the best way in the world to do that. And of course, with Facebook, you can advertise, get promoted, and the business mm -hmm. just follows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, Frank, in the last couple of moments here, why don't you tell people a little bit more about yourself, how they can contact you, what you do? Oh, great. Thanks, John. So I'm an international speaker on sales and social media and how they interact together. Uh, my website is www.frankfurness.com, F-U-R-N-E-S-S.com. Please connect with me on my LinkedIn profile and my Facebook because I'm always coming up with uh, new ideas over there. Um, and also take a look at my YouTube channel, 700 sales videos. So it's just youtube.com forward slash sales tips, S-A-L-E-T-I-P-S. And if you've got a conference coming up, please get me over to come and speak at your conference. I was in Gibraltar last week, Germany the week before, and uh, tomorrow I'm flying out to Norway. So I love speaking at sales conferences and sharing ideas. Yeah, that's great. Listen, thank you very much, Frank. Uh, my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine. Pipeliner CRM, another expert interview. Again, thanks, uh, Frank. A lot of great tips, a lot of great information there that I, I really uh, suggest you look into. Thanks so much, John. Great being on the program. Thanks for watching.
So I encourage you to subscribe to salespop.net, the online sales magazine. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and then comment. Get involved in the conversation. Love to hear what you have to say.